Hey there, everybody, and welcome to chapter 16 of my Rim Atomic Rhymefella playthrough. So, last episode I experimented around with uh, plate armors and not plate armors, and I decided that I don't like plate armors during the early game. And uh, so, Feasant is wearing her uh, duster again. Overall, I had the feeling like uh, elephant leather is just OP. Um, we're having this quest I didn't have a look at. Uh, Ooh, so, uh, gotta kill some alpacas for, for getting some advanced components. Hmm. Red is in daze now due to intense pain. Do I have... No, I don't have the snap out mod installed here. I should install that. It's a mod which allows you to, uh, calm down people when they are on mental breakdowns. A really useful thing. Okay. So, turns out I don't use the composter at all, because at this point I'm already uh, plumbing everything out, I guess. Why is that wall dirty? Can somebody explain? Did somebody, somebody throw poop at the wall? We'll never know. Oh man, I need somebody to clean this place, like, really badly. Well, Transazen should be doing that once uh, the next piece of art is done. I mean, I uh, I whipped him through a little bit of work during the last days. So. Okay, so my my guys uh, shared the uh, the items here a little bit. Stork's equipment really sucks. I should get rid of the steel shoulder pads. They are really bad overall. I didn't realize that shoulder pads are basically the lightest form of uh, plate armor of the vanilla expanded pack, so... <laughs> yeah, well. Documented exper experiments, I love it. Um, I'm still having a little bit of Creole marble left, but I need some more of those chunks, but I've already marked them for hauling, so... I'm way ahead of me! So let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep continuing. Okay. I guess at this point, um, okay with uh, giving Stork a full priority on uh, science here, because uh, Feasant is now um, good enough, good enough at cooking that uh, Stork's. Work is here no longer necessary in, in that uh, in business, so I'm gonna um, swap the uh, um, recipes now to this workplace. Something like this I want to make happen, yeah. And uh, the pemmican, we're making pemmican here as well, so we can now deconstruct that stone campfire. It has, uh, it is not ne not necessary anymore. So there's a kitchen sink cabinet, huh? What does it do? I don't know. I'm tempted to just build it to see what it does. But no, I don't want it to work like this for now. Because uh, I'm not sure if this place is going to stay the kitchen or not. So, Noble Apparel, another medieval tech. Um, industrial... Oh, that's that harpsichord is also medieval. Longbow goes into the same category. So, I'm going to research the less interesting things for now. Okay. Oh, we're having a marble carving now, so let's check out how this works. I never uh, used one of those yet. So, uh, let's check out. Fever for Red. <laughs> this work bears an image of seven falcons milling around uncertainly in darkness, twilight blanketing a large group of nearby pits. There is no brigand in sight. A cook appears off to one side. This illustration refers to an eclipse over Red's encampment on... 
Transazen, were you were you smoking a little bit too much of the weed there? Wow, Transazen sure, sure looks badass though in that gear. Come on, like Panthera fur, tribal wear, plate armor, cowboy hat. Sure, some nice fashion there. Okay, so um, you know what? I'm gonna put this down into Red's uh, sleeping room because I feel like, or no, I'm gonna put this into. Uh, somewhere as a decoration here in between red is working a lot here so i'm gonna be dropping a carving into this place let's see if they, they are uh removable or not i don't know yet but i intend to find out so there's still so much steel on my map it's crazy okay So I want to check out this uh, item stashed there, five alpacas, but there is a possible unknown threat. So we're going to pick up uh, Humps, he's going to lead the pack, and I'm going to bring uh, Transazen and Tiberius. Is this enough for five alpacas? Mm. I'll rather bring Rorosotis as well. So that's four people. Um, I'm gonna get them all riding here because that makes them lots uh, faster. And I'm going to take pemmican with them for a few days. And we're gonna bring medicine as well. Um, a little um amount of things which bring pleasure just in case things go horribly wrong uh, also bring uh, 20 wood um, because 20 wood is exactly what you need to bring up a campfire and let's get going or it was 20 wood right smallest campfire yeah. that's why I like to bring this like sometimes the small things make big differences and uh, if you can't configure it that easily just do it. So uh, I'm having now Feasant, Stork, and Red in the colony here. I'm not too comfy with the thought about uh, ha being so badly defended here, but it's not going to be for a long time. Okay. I mean, most of the uh, travel time is just the um, passing of the night. They're gonna be uh, there tomorrow already, so if everything goes well, they're gonna be uh, back in two days. I mean, we get raided horribly during that time. Mm -hmm. Sucks to be us, huh? But I don't think so, honestly. But advanced components are certainly uh, enough to make me drooling here, because that stuff is really good. Advanced components are hard to come by, and uh, four of them are already quite a treasure. I think you can, I can build already quite nice uh, and quite good things later on with that. I mean, I'm far away from needing them, but uh, let's just hope that there is nothing uh, too horrible um, besides the alpacas there. Because that would be a big issue if there would be like an ambush or something. All right. But uh, these guys are uh, also my best fighters. So, let's see. Like I said, we're approaching the item stash today. Let's check out what's there except for the alpacas. Man hunting alpacas. How did that even happen? Did they feed them the wrong stuff or or what's the case? Okay. So we uh spawned right next to a pack of lions. Not funny. Like really not funny at all. But apart from that, I'm gonna be able to uh tank those boys here. 
It's good. It's actually really, really good. So this is one of the uh, best scenarios to fight this uh, thing, actually. So there we go. Humpsa has only uh, suffered a few uh, very, very uh, minor wounds there. But I'm not uh, convinced that uh, this is over already. We might get assaulted or anything. Okay. But, uh, looks like we're lucky here and uh, nothing else happens. Okay, wonderful. Um, next step, I'm gonna bring a stockpile zone down here and uh, we're gonna drop down a butcher spot down here. Because I want to have these uh, these leathers from the Bye. alpacas there. So that's that's the sound my little one makes when he wants to eat something. He wants some porridge and he wants it now, you know. So let's uh, fetch Transason to hunt that alpaca. There we go. So, I could be hunting those lions, but I don't want to risk, uh, stress out my luck too hard, you know. I'm quite happy that, uh, everything here just worked out so fine with the, uh, with the alpacas. I'm just gonna chop them up, grab up the leather, grab up the meat, and then we're gonna be rolling again. There we go. So let's reform the caravan. The riders are set. We're picking up the meat. We're picking up the agaves, the uh, components, of course. And I hope the camel hide. Yeah, it's no problem to carry that stuff too. Wonderful. Okay. Let's get over there. Cool thing. Okay. Just some bruises for humps. Apart from that, nothing. Horrible happened, and I got uh, I had a chance to grab up a a nice surplus of uh, camel hide. Cool. Okay. Now they just need to get home before we get raided, and I'm happy. <laughs> uh, the time before you have automated defenses is always so uh, so so spooky to send out uh, caravans, you know. Like, Red Feasant and uh, Stork wouldn't be uh, too hot at defending this place. Okay. And we really need to clean up this place here. Yeah, of course. Like, there's an infestation, right, as I was talking about uh, bad things happening. Okay, I'm gonna forbid that door immediately, and let's check out how horrible it is. So, the good news, it's only two hives. And the bad news, uh, my uh, colonists are still pretty far away from this, so... I'm gonna uh, slow down a little bit, and uh, we're, I'm gonna see if I can uh, avoid that fight until uh, my colonists are there. Oof, I'm not gonna let Stork sleep there. I'm gonna drop this bed there. And uh, Stork is going to sleep over there. And uh, sometimes uh, it takes a while until they start doing this. And there's still a corridor in between. I really want to try if I can uh, delay this fight as long as possible. Because it would be way easier with all my colonists to fight that. So, but I'm pretty positive about it. I'm just uh, giving Stork and uh, Feasant as much sleeping time as possible, and we're also uh, putting a no-no on these doors. And uh, I'm just gonna pay close attention to the bugs here, and where they go and where they not go. You know. So. 
Humps and his people will be back in a few hours, so then we can take care of these guys. I just uh, am very careful because the moment they start uh, digging at Fezen's wall, I really need to uh, react immediately or things will get really horrible. Uh, it's quite random when uh, infestation starts to dig or, or not. Like. Okay. There we go. That's why I like to uh, have fortress uh, compounds with uh, several corridors sealed off with doors from each other. So you have uh, a lot of layers you can defend your base with. Okay. So, the reinforcements are arriving soon. The hive will be reproducing in days, so we're, I'm not I don't plan to let these beasties live that long. <laughs> no way. Okay. I'm just happy that it was an infestation and not uh something worse. Like a mechanoid raid or something would have been way worse there. Um red, why are you fleeing? So, what if, whatever might be the case, uh, oh well, no, let's, uh, let's give everybody some time to eat something, and then we're gonna fight. Oh, we researched the harpsichord, nice. So, the piano is industrial technology, so that's good. Let's go for a longbow. Okay, the Neolithic equivalent to a sniper rifle. Okay, so not the great bow is supposed to be the sniper rifle. The uh, other thing is supposed to be. Oh. So. That's why I forgot to to uh, forbid another door. And the next cat dies a horrible death. Uh-huh. It has no tail anymore. Poor thing. It's time to go for revenge. I somehow forgot to uh, to forbid that door. You guys possibly saw that the whole time. Okay. Forward! For segment! Oh, come on. I'm gonna re rescue the cat here. There we go. Come on, there. Don't destroy my my art, you monsters. So. There we go. Uh, let's check out the cat. Okay, everything up here is going really fine. Okay. Well. My animals are tanking this stuff like a boss. Seriously. Animals are so OP. Um, why is everybody assigned to flee? Did I forget this for 16 episodes to change that? Wow, amazing. Usually I'm way quicker with changing that. Okay, so, uh... Come on, man, our cat is dying. You can't just go for a walk. I hate remorseless sometimes, you know. Okay, more ambrosia. It's insane how much ambrosia this uh, run has. Like this is the third sprout in uh, less than hundred days. Amazing. Mm, would you kindly? Uh, Kill the mega spider, thank you. Okay. So we're we're gonna check the simple meals here. Um they are not allowed to in use insect meat here, which is good. Um they are allowed to use insect meat here, which is also good. And thus I suppose the same thing is actually happening here. Yes, okay. There we go. 
Insect meat is always for me a very, very uh, good source of um, kibble production. Okay. A lot of work for humps right now. Um, also, I'm very inclined to sell off some of the herbal mats I have. Or I could also uh, give them as a present to my neighbors. That's something I should consider. Because uh, I want to have good relations with all my neighbors. I want to sell them energy at some point. I mean, we're far away from that, but at some point it's going to be relevant, you know? So let's check it out. They're not getting happy by eating chocolate, huh? Too bad. Okay. There we go. Our animals really uh, saved the day there. Okay. Stork is tending to this dog. Segment survived, but uh, she lost her tail. I'm really sorry for her. That's what happens when I forget to forbid doors. <laughs> okay, let's say a stash of 180 uh, smoke leaf leaves. Uh, that's uh, way better to handle. Um, can we please uh, finally deconstruct that fire pit? Thanks. I mean, it was quite nice in the cat cave with light and everything, but uh, we don't need that thing anymore. But what I'm gonna do is... Uh, I'm gonna... No. Where is it at? It's a furniture thing, right? Yeah. So we're gonna drop down a uh, torch lamp right here. And right there. Shelter for royals. Uh, <laughs> a bedroom satisfying a baroness. <laughs> you guys are joking. Okay. So, uh, this is, uh, Stork's room again. Okay. Ah, uh, let's clean up this big old room. And, uh, we're gonna force her to work on these walls. So, poor old Stork can, uh, have a nice sleep here. And uh, Trent Sazen is, uh, has recovered from his 11th breakdown, or 12th, so I don't know anymore. Like... This guy is having so many breakdowns, I don't even uh, manage to take... Uh, to uh, know how many they did were. But that's okay. It's my little trouble kid, you know. Oh, I... Uh, I just clicked this. So one thing infestations always do is, it, is produce a lot of dirt, but they also spawn that sweet, sweet insect jelly, which is a very, very good stuff. Okay, now then, let's uh, let's get to uh, configuring the animals. So I have animals general and an animal safe, safe zone. So I'm gonna configure the animals general zone. We're gonna clear some allowed areas from there, though, because I don't want my animals in general in these areas at all. Like, this place is reserved for the humans, and I wanna keep it that way. This way, a lot of dirt uh, production will already be prevented. So, next step. I don't want them into the freezer anymore. I'm gonna change that as soon as it's uh, going to be a certain um, case of animal starvation, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be happening at this point. Another thing is uh, place mount drop spot. Oh, I wanna try. Okay. Expend for bit writing area. That's another thing. So, I want my bedrooms to be no area where people ride into, okay? So that's just a general rule in my, in my base. No riding in the sleeping areas, okay? <laughs> I think we can all handle that. So, uh, 
to achieve that, um, this area has only effect when mount drop spots have been designated. That's something uh, which is really important. So you need mount drop mount drop spots like uh, these. Oh, well, I'm gonna configure them quite big here. So these are spots your guys are usually uh, dropping their mounts at. So the first time I tried that, it didn't work out too good because they uh, didn't use the mounts efficiently anymore. Let's see if this works out. I'm gonna uh, watch them now. And Humps is just uh, not caring at all about the new rules I'm, I'm imposing here. I love it. But let's see, maybe uh, it'll change in a moment. Hey, look at that! There's a bunny here! Amazing! I didn't even know these, uh, are, these things live here. So I'm gonna tame that bunny, come on. Let's tame this other one too. Are they a pair? No. They're both male. Hmm, too bad. Okay. So the alpaca meat uh, rotted away, but it's okay. I just uh, took it with me because, you know... Wow, this, this shack is dirty as hell. So... I'm gonna send Transazen over to this place because uh, it's really about time to uh, change something here. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, erasing the um, kibble work um, on this of this table because kibble will be made for uh, at this spot and only at this spot. There we go. What's the zebra having on its back? Some joints, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, shrink this zone a little bit so it's not uh, interfering with our uh, living area that hard any uh, anymore. Okay. The longbow has been researched. Uh, I like it how this looks. The Hall of Trophies. But I, I think my burn pits are not being used anymore. Ever since I used the latrines, uh, it's over with the, uh, with the production of feces. Okay. Let's fast forward a little bit more here. They didn't even find uh, time to place down that carving. Yeah, well, the caravan sure uh, was uh, demanding some time from us. Okay, I'm gonna wait a few more hours and then I'm gonna wake up Feasant a little bit early today and send her working on the butcher table. There we go. Because there's a mega spider in the sleeping room of her and her husband, so, uh, of Rosotis and her husband, so that's uh, something I don't want to have as a long term thing, you know. <laughs> Alrighty then. Wow, we chopped down a lot of trees. That's gonna be. Uh, making a lot of work for humps during the next days so yeah well feasant is uh, very important uh, to be cooking i could bring up transaison to the uh plant work again i mean while i'm not crafting it's quite okay if transaison does plant work as well i think that's okay there's so much work to do i don't think that uh humps will uh manage to uh Get all that done alone. Okay, the supernova has ended. I couldn't care less. Okay. But the bright side of that is I'm having a lot of wood available, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to order uh, Rarazotis to uh, build those uh, torches finally. They're not taking up much wood. 
it was maybe I could have done uh, a lot of them too. But honestly, these might be only using 20 wood as a uh, as fuel. But imagine having a fuel in every in every sleeping room. That would be two, four, six. I mean, we're having a double bed, so that's 120 wood all every 10 days. I don't like that too much, so I don't know. Quest completed. Oh, so uh, this place is no longer a monument now, so I can do with it whatever I want. Awesome. Also, I researched uh, longbows. So uh, I never played with those before, but they do a, a, a lot of damage. I mean, compared to the great bow, that's even more damage. Not bad. Crossbows are also medieval tech, so okay, let's go for that as well. Oh, crossbows. 26 damage! <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. So range cooldown 4 seconds. Let's compare that to the longbow. <laughs> 1.5 seconds. And the great bow? 1.5 seconds. So uh, the cooldown between uh, two shots is horrible with the crossbow. But overall, I get to say, if you just aim for getting out one shot and then swapping into a melee weapon or something like that, sure a good thing to have. Okay. Mm, I still want to kill that mega sloth. What about my tailor bench? Um, I'm really inclined to uh, open up the camel hide uh, for the blouses just because I'm missing some leather somehow but uh you know did I only uh, did I only grab such little few scraps of leather hm. you know whatever okay and uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, manage a new area, and that's called Meadow Only. Um, this area will be um, specially for the animals which are only supposed to live here. And I'm leaving open the cotton fields for a good reason, because I don't want these animals to eat the stuff on those fields. Usually it works. We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep a close eye on that during the time. Okay, that's that. I don't need more. They're not allowed to go step on the cotton. They're not allowed to step on the smoke leaves, and they're not allowed to step on the psychoids. Okay, wonderful. Oh, also let's check out the home zone uh, management. It's going to be super useless. I already can't tell. Like I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm having home zones in areas you don't even knew that you could consider them as a home zone. So I'm gonna keep this here enabled due to buildings being there where they are. And I mean, look at that. I don't want to. Uh, feel responsible for these areas there. Oh, look at that. There's some complex of ruins. Hmm. I'm not sure. I want to take a look at that. Also, I want that uh, red lino tiles. Alrighty. So... Yeah, this works a lot better when Transazen is working with, uh, together with humps, because there's just too much work for them. And also, I want to tame those bunnies. Come on, bunnies. But somehow, humps, after all his animal training, is not able to tame some simple bunnies. Don't ask me why. So, uh, it was, yeah, red was assigned to hunting on a top, top priority. Wonderful. Okay, I just keep that little amount of uh, smoke leaf leaves uh, on this field because it will uh, sustain my, uh, my smoke leaf joints, the colony needs. I'm not really inclined to use them as a trading good at this point. 
because overall uh, I don't need to sell too much stuff right now overall so give me a second one close the door so you don't have to listen to all the games my dear wife and my son are playing over there. Home zone edition, you know. All right. Home office edition, I'm sorry. Home zone is something completely different. Um, feeling like mining out this stuff right now. So I just hope that at some point um going to be uh, finished with uh these work orders here i mean we're getting done quite uh nicely at this point i mean overall um a lot of things got uh got done here so it's only a matter of time at this point who's actually mining right now arizotas huh? a arizotas for everything <laughs> He's in this order for the mining as well. Okay. Okay. Is the plumbing already laid down? No, it's not. So, at least uh, all the toilets are getting some plumbing now, and that means I'm gonna be able to deconstruct all these burn pits, and I'm going to uh, deconstruct these uh, composters as well because we're not really using them. So. There's the research of tools, royal apparel is all, is all that's left in this. Oh, gunpowder is medieval too. Surprised about that, but uh, in a way it makes sense. Like gunpowder is uh, something humanity knows for quite a long time, but uh, there was once a day we uh, preferred to make fireworks out of that. Okay. So at least we're getting the, the wall smoothings done now. I mean, Rarazotis is hitting construction 16, uh, 17 next, like... It's a crazy speed on her at this point, like... People sh uh, are normally not <laughs> smoothing walls in that tempo. But I do like it. Okay. So... Great day number three's name now is Navarre. Alright, why not? They're, they're starting to grow into uh, adult animals, slowly but steadily. And that's good. Apart from that, Humps was still not able to uh, tame any of those bunnies. I'm baffled. Like, I didn't expect it to be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And uh, nobody wants to unload the joints from the zebra. Okay. I'm gonna drop them down. <laughs> okay. Transazen is uh, doing the uh, doing the trees. I mean, doing plant work is at least making him happy. And. Uh, Four people are having the plague. Ugh. All my research will freeze down now. Okay. So, Rarizotis is... Bed resting. Stork, Tiberius, and Humps. Yeah, okay. Oof. Okay. So... Feasant will take care of them. Um... I'm having a nice surplus of good meds, so let's assign Rarizotis to industrial tech, Tiberius to industrial tech, um, put Umps, and Stork. And uh, next step will be um, forcing them all to go to bed. Okay, next step, 
tend to each of them. Three. Where's the last one? Rhizotus Tiberius Humps is missing there. Okay, I'm gonna let uh, Fizen do all of them because uh, she's just so good at it. Scourge Pods. This is, uh, sure, why not? It's exactly what I want to do when I uh, have trouble here with the plague and everything. Fight a ton of mechanoids. Hell no. Okay. So I'm gonna be uh, letting Transazen do the treatment of humps. Or no, I'm not gonna. I'll just uh, let a good doctor take care of that treatment here. It's plague. I would rather not take it on the light shoulder. So uh, we're gonna be using the numbers mod here for disease immunity gain margin. So there we go. Yeah. Humps was uh, the last one I uh, treated, so he's gaining at la the least quick but and uh muscle parasites like are you freaking kidding me now so transazen fees and sort and tiberius so uh the only difference is that uh i'm gonna allow fees to self tend herself so Transazen needs some of those good meds. And uh, I'm going to order everybody who's still on his feet to uh, do doctoring work. Okay. This looks a little bit funky, but uh, I really need them to be treated at this point. Okay. Come on, what's that? Getting plague and muscle parasites into your colony basically at the same time. I've never had that before. Yeah, sure. And some flu for the zebra too. So you get a disease. You get a disease. Everybody gets a disease. Wonderful. So Feasant is now picking out on food, but uh since she's only having the muscle disease the muscle parasites, it's not that horrible. It's just necessary that somebody uh, tends to the zebra. Crazy. Like, really crazy. Okay. But at least it'll uh, bring some training to my uh, less talented uh, doctors. And I don't mind uh, people like Stork uh, standing up in between because their immunity margin gain is already so good. Like, they wouldn't be able to uh, sustain themselves here. We won't be having enough people to feed everybody if uh, we wouldn't... Um, if we wouldn't be doing it like this. So, that's some food for Rarizotus. Let's send humps to grab a bite to eat as well. Because at this point I don't have any chance to uh, hope that uh, they get fed by anybody. Like, it's not gonna happen here. Okay. So, everybody's grabbing a bite to eat. And that's the point where I'm gonna roll the credits, I'd say. So, crazy moments in the colony here. I've had something like that never happened to me before. Getting two disease waves into each other? Well, every time something new, right? Alrighty, my friends. So, I wish everybody a nice time. No. I hope you enjoyed this episode. That's what I try was trying to say. It's a little bit uh, much here at the moment. And I hope you come back for the next one as well. Feel free to drop me a thumbs up or a subscription to my channel if you want to support me and my work a little bit more. If none of those, just let me thank you for watching another of my episodes, and I hope we see each other on the next episode as well. Goodbye.